My father was an alcoholic. It was just chaos all the time in our house because of his drinking. I didn't want to be my father, but I became my dad. I went from the alcohol to the drugs, the drugs to the alcohol, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until it didn't really matter anymore what I was doing. I could be whoever you wanted me to be to get whatever I needed. And it got dark at the end, and so I drank and used, and I wanted to die every day. I remember it was July 24th, and it was 100 degrees outside. It was going to be a meeting, but there was a bar that I used to drink at, so I had to make a decision which one I was going to go to. And I went to the meeting, and that's where my journey began was that day. I never diagnosed myself being mentally ill. I was always taught, you know, come on, cut it out. Act like a man, quit acting like that. But then I come to realize it's a disease. For years I thought I could do this on my own, get well, I couldn't. There's people out there that are willing to step up and to give you hope and to walk with you through this. I'm gonna be the first to tell you that I'll ask for help today. I do have a whole fellowship of guys that, you know, if something happens, I know who I can call on. And they're always there. I talked to one this morning. I usually walk about eight miles a day. It's just my way of just being able to be okay and be still within myself. I joined Adrian Health in 2010, and I became a peer support in 2016. Who would know better than a drug addict and an alcoholic to talk to a, another drug addict and another alcoholic? I can only give them my experience and what I've been through and share bits and pieces of my life. And say, you know what? I'll jump down in a hole with you, and we'll stop digging, but we'll be together through this as we climb up. I'm not who my diagnosis is, all right? I'm not, I'm, I, um, and I don't live that life anymore. I, I do not let that define who I am as far as with my addiction or anything else. I'm a person in long-term recovery. I'm a father, I'm a grandfather today. My grandchildren never see me drunk or high. What I have inside is the most important thing, and that's my recovery, my sobriety.